today being the second day of May 2024 in the Asaba Magistrate District, he failed to comply with the directives of the Delta State Task Force on environment for all illegal occupants under the flyover bridge at Total Junction, Asaba, to vacate and desist from either leaving or trading at the set to prevent the open defecation and safety. Hence, you were apprehended by a team of the task force and you thereby committed an offense. Illegal occupiers of under the flyover bridge around Coca Junction and unregistered artisans whose activities in the area have become security threats and deface the aesthetic beauty despite this enlightenment campaign. Besides holding a strategic meeting with all stakeholders on the impending exercise and the need to register and move down to the convergence center in Oko, we on Thursday, May 2nd, apprehended and arraigned before the Asapa Magisterial District Mobile Court for contravening Section 105 of the National Environmental Health Practice Regulations 2016 at the expiration of the grace period given to them. Wall Street traders who built makeshift shops on the road to Yanga Market in Akwafo, Asaba, the Delta State Capital, have their tables crushed by the very energetic Tax Force Committee on Environment, led by its high voltage chairman, Comrade Gospel Asihu, a former commissioner in the state who had swung into action at the wee hours of the day under the professional combined security coverage. <laughs> The tax force whose mandate are for the implementations and enforcement of registration process for immigrants, laborers and scavengers were commended for taking the bold steps, but the fear is the sustainability of the tempo. Tomorrow now, you're not going to see any of them for you again. Now they make all those recurrence of a team, they come. Because they're going to come today, tomorrow they're not come. Next month, they never come. One week later or two weeks later, they call the show again. How you go to say the work or you say do? They you say complete the work. If they say they won't read me what they talk so, they go there for like three months. Like uh, we know that a lot of uh, illegal activities are going on in Coca Summer, obstructing the road. Government, which have taken a lot of efforts to beautify Coca, is nowhere to be found. But now I can see that the uh, government has woken up from their slumber to clear the area uh, because uh, we that uh, reside in the area, we cannot tell whether the government is actually know what is going on or not. But now I can see that government are working up. I say a big thank you for to governor of uh, Delta State. Let them continue in, in their good work. But I pledge that this work should be sustainable. The work where they do, I support them. I support the work where they do because they uh, are very good uh, something. Uh, at least it will make this coca to be neat. Uh, all these uh, outside boys with the, the nuisance that are causing here is becoming too much. It is very awesome in the sense that uh, the popular coca roundabout has been messed up. The presence of uh, artisans, stouts, and the motor parts around here has created a lot of nuisance around here. Snatching their phones, snatching their bars uh, at late night uh, traveling. So I think uh, I will commend the government for this action. And I will even advise that this action continues for at least a period of two weeks. However, the chairman of the Special Tax Force Committee, Comrade Gospel Asihu, who had led the fear of the masses, assured that it will be a hit and run exercise. Yeah, what you saw today just tested the mark. And you can see that uh, I have received a lot of call of commendation. I ask to let don't commend me. Commend His Excellencies, Right Honorable Elder Sheriff Oberori, for doing the touching the life of Delta and also making our environment to be safe for Delta and not Delta to do their business, to live peacefully and harmony. Today, we have arrested present people. You can see the mobile court have convicted them. As two buses have already stationed there, waiting to take them to Uguachuku. So, my message that we mean business. I repeat, we mean business. Let me 
pass this pressure to Delta. Today, two contractors have also been arrested and convicted. So, contractors and developers, please, I beg, please, don't patronize those that did not register with Delta State Government. Today, also, we also arrested somebody that is harboring them. It also be prosecuted. If you know that you cannot take censors, you cannot take shorty or vag guarantee any person staying in your vicinity or in your landed property, please evacuate them now. At the end, 45 persons were prosecuted. 43 fined 10,000 naira each or with an option of spending seven days in the correctional center. And one was discharged and acquitted by the Chief Magistrate KKJ Kalu Fred led Mobile Court. From the Coca Junction here in Asaba, the Delta State Capital, I am Gospel Amalia Mefobo reporting for Lip TV News.